Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Man Cave Meals. I've got the Traeger fired up today and I'm going to show you some of the advanced features. We're going to cook a 10 pound Boston butt using some programmed cooking. Okay guys, it's time to fire up the Traeger. So I'm going to bring the grill online and we're going to set it up just to bring it up to 165 degrees in the super smoke mode to get things started and we'll let the grill warm up while we're getting our Boston butt ready okay our grills up to temperature and I've got my meat ready so we're gonna open the grill up I've got this 10 pound Boston butt I've rubbed it and uh, I'm gonna set it over a drip pan just because I like to try to keep most of the grease out of the grill I have the meat probe connected to the Traeger as well and I'm going to insert that all the way in to the middle of the thick part of this butt and then we're just going to close the lid and have a look at the programming okay we've got the meat on the grill now we want to fire up the app and have a look at what we can do with the programming here so I'm going to start up the Traeger app and it's gonna come up and we're gonna to go to the remote control mode and it's gonna show us here on screen what's going on with the grill our current pit temperature and our meat probe temperature but what we want to do is we want to create a program to cook this uh, Boston butt so I'm gonna hit the gear tool and the saved custom cook cycles is going to pop up and I've got two empty ones here so I'm going to go to number three and we're going to program the first step so what I want to do is tell it to set the grill temperature I want to set it to 165 I want to set the timer on that for just one hour we're going to run it for one hour in the super smoke mode to give this thing some extra smoke before we actually bring the temperature up so after that cycle's done, I want to add another step where we set the grill temperature again. I'm going to bring the grill temperature up after that super smoke mode to 250. And we're going to set the probe this time instead of setting the timer. I want to set the probe until my meat gets up to about uh, 190. Well, let's just go to 200. And set the temp there and you can't run super smoke mode above 225 so we're going to leave that off and I'm going to add a third step that once it completes that second step we're just gonna go to the keep warm mode on the grill and uh, let it keep that for an hour if needed so we'll set that timer and now we can tell it to save this cook we're going to save that cycle and I'm just going to call it Boston Butt and click OK and now I'm going to press the cook now button to tell it to uh, run that cycle so as you can see over there on the LCD screen on the grill it tells us that it's running step one and it's giving us the parameters there so we can monitor it from our phone app and uh, we can also monitor it from the grill itself. I can actually create this program at the grill. I don't have to use the phone app. It can all be done right from the grill. So I'm going to come back near the end of this cycle so we can watch it change over into the regular cook cycle. Okay guys, we're winding down to the beginning or to the end of that first hour there. So I'm going to start the uh, app back up here and we're going to have a look and see and watch it we got five seconds left it's going to roll over to the end of this here in just a few seconds and you get a little bit of an audible alarm there on the smoker and it changes the set temp to 250 just where we had it and uh, you can see that it changed it on the app as well so it's going to stay in that mode now until our probe reaches 200 degrees and at that point it's going to uh, roll on over to uh, the keep warm mode so we'll be back well actually before we go let's just have a little peek at the meat that's going on in here 
yeah that's looking really good so but it's only been in there for an hour so we're going to close it down and let this baby ride all night okay we've been on the grill for almost 13 hours now so it's just time to have a look everything's cruising along my meat probes up to 187 so let's take a peek here I didn't bother to wrap this one and it's looking beautiful that looks really fantastic we've got a little bit more time to go so we'll be back hopefully to catch this when our program uh, goes down to the keep warm mode I'm gonna try to be on top of that I'm not sure exactly when it's gonna happen so we'll just have to see okay guys I have initiated the keep warm mode manually here the meat got ready a little bit before my probe hit 200 degrees I've been watching it with my thermopop and uh, we're actually a little over 200 degrees the butt is probing tender so now I'm just gonna take this guy off the grill we're gonna foil it and let it rest for a couple hours and here's what our finished butt looks like looks beautiful so let's get it off the grill okay I've rested this butt and uh, we'll pull it apart that bone comes out beautifully clean and as you can see this meat just falls apart uh, one of the questions I got before on this was that I get a smoke ring and if you can look and see right here I've got a pretty nice smoke ring on that cook this was cooked low and slow uh, the last cook I did was actually on a different grill that I went hot and fast but yeah you get a beautiful smoke ring on this and this meat just falls apart uh, that's a perfect cook so with that I'm gonna wrap this up but I do want to say a couple of things here about the programming you can do a lot of different things with the programming with changing your times and temperatures uh, during the cook you know you can uh, when you get up to 160 degrees for instance that's where a lot of people like to foil you may want to ramp the temperature up some or even down at that point so until next time this is John Setzler with Man Cave Meals <laughs>